Hi, I'm Joe with Backcountry Solar. Today we're here to show you an install of the 640 watt Zant Deluxe Solar Kit. Capable of going up to 960 watts. In this uh, unit here, we installed four solar panels. 160 watt panels. Not quite finished yet, but it is the end of the day and Kathy would love to get her stuff back in her cupboard. So we're trying to do a little video to show you some of the stuff. We were able to take and get to a spot to where we put the rear port caps right next to each other. And we did not need to extend any of the wires. All the wires from the panels to the rear port box are at 10 foot. So, but there is room to plug in two more panels. So from these reef, roof port caps, uh, each one has an eight gauge dual wire running down inside. And we're gonna go inside right now and take a look and show you how we did it. Okay, we're back inside and we're where we brought the wires down in. The inside in this uh, particular unit, it is pretty much nothing but slide outs. And the place we chose to come down through was actually right here between the kitchen and the bathroom. There's actually a little sliding pantry here. And we took it out and we were able to take and get two holes up through the ceiling, up through the roof, to the roof port caps. And you can see the two 8 gauge wires coming down in. We ran down in behind and down under and then we went back down in through here. At the same time, we were back feeding up the remote wire for the remote display panel inside because the charge controller is down below closer to the batteries where it's supposed to be. So as you can see right now, we're putting in, it's a little cloudy, but we're putting in about 31.1 amps right now, and it is about four o'clock in the afternoon. We'll step around in here into the bathroom area. What we did is we come down, there was an access into the wall here. It's where I came down through, went out, and we went out next to a sewer pipe down in here, down to the underneath space. So now we're gonna take, and we're gonna go outside and take a look underneath and show you how we did the charge controller and tied everything together. Okay, now we're down in the belly. This is where the two 8 gauge wires come down from the roof port boxes and come in. Both of those were approximately about 13 feet long. Uh, we put them to the junctions. Both positives went to here. Both negatives went to there. And then from here we went with number four wire. Uh, crossed and around and this is where we mounted the charge controller right here and then we come back out we ran up through the belly up here about eight feet and that's where we connected to the six batteries so and as you can see right now we're at about 30.6 amps and it's still about four o'clock in the afternoon so but that's basically how it should look what you're looking at. You want to make sure these lanes do not exceed 15 feet and you do not want to, you want to try to stay within eight feet to the batteries. So uh, be very careful with all of that. But uh, let's go out and talk to Mike and Kathy for a moment. Okay, we're back. Y'all know me, I'm Joe. This is Mike, this is Kathy. This is their rig here. Uh, answer me something. Uh, they live in this full time. Why did you want to have solar? We were just looking for options to spend more time uh, boondocking and uh, places where most people can't get to. So, so and we're looking forward to giving this thing a run and uh, seeing what it can do. So. Yeah, no more generator, huh? No more no generator. More stinky, <laughs> noisy generator. Yeah, so, well, that's good. So, but we'll show we have some updates for you on their travels. Uh, this is Joe with Back Country Solar. Please check us out at back-countrysolar.com or you can give us a call at 970-882-8046. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Thank hey, you. I got a question. What's your website? Oh, oh it's rocking the road with Mike and Kat.com. See you there? Um, they got their own website too. Check it out. So they've been posting about us and some other people have too. Just on this unit here, so it's a nice one to do. It was a fairly simple one, actually.
compared to a lot of them out there. But, uh, that way, this way here, make sure you do your wire connections right. Worry about wire lengths, very important. Make sure you're not running wires underneath any moving parts or anything like that. And uh, you'll have a good installed system. So, because if you don't uh, use the proper size wires or you lose too long a wire, and you're not going to get the performance you expect out of your solar. But, uh, I'll have a great day. Thank you very much.